Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Buenos dias. Welcome to Arizona. This time, we're going to show you some of the best places to see and visit in Arizona without all the big crowds all the time. The best times of the year, the best food, the best cities. There's so many exciting places to see that a lot of people don't even know about. Let's go. Let's so go. Come along with us. Hit the intro. I'm Scott. I'm Brenda. And we are avid travelers. We've been traveling with more frequency over the last few years. Traveling to various spaces, basically kind of anywhere the spirit moves us, right? And we don't do your traditional travel. We, we like the, some of the touristy things, but we also like to go off the beaten path and we want to give you some tips on some of the things that we do to find these spots and get there. But have you ever been planning your trip and you imagined it's going to be this? And you got that. <laughs> we got tired of being shuffled around through tours and that so we decided to start doing it our way, the Travis family travel way. And that's our mission is to basically give you the best tips we possibly can hopefully help you out right we're not endorsed by anybody no nope so. these are things that we've found out through trial and error and several mistakes <laughs> <But> <laughs> we like to think we learn from our mistakes and hopefully you won't have to make them okay let's get started let's go Number 11, Nogales, Arizona and Nogales, Mexico. It's a sleepy little border town and it's got some great shopping, authentic Mexican food. A lot of fun to be in. Mexico, what more can we say? Best time to visit it is between October and May. Number 10, Tombstone. The town too tough to die. The wild, wild west, the way it was made, the gunslingers. Before Arizona was even a state, it was a territory. Even the lawmen, the police were outlaws. Best time to visit Tombstone is between October and May. Number nine, Tucson. Tucson is the second largest city in the state, and it's got some great southwestern culture. Best place to go at nightlife, listen to mariachi music, get some great Mexican food. Best time to visit it is October to May. Number eight, the Biosphere 2. Now you're probably wondering, where's the Biosphere 1? That's Earth. You're standing on it. This has been a scientific experiment that's been going on for decades. From rainforests to deserts to plains. A must see. Definitely. Best time to visit the biosphere. Even though it's indoors, you probably want to go April to May because you still have to travel there. Number seven, Phoenix, Arizona. Capital of the state home to all the great sporting. It's got NFL, NHL, MLB, spring training. But keep in mind, it is a large city with very heavy traffic. It is the largest city we have here in Arizona. Best time to visit it is October to May. Number six, Bisbee. Now this is an old, Western mining town that at one time was the largest city west of St. Louis. 
It's located right down there on the Mexican border, and its culture now is exceptional. It's taken on more of the hippie culture. Fun. Great place to visit the Copper Queen Hotel. Best time to visit Bisbee is going to be, say, mid-September to probably beginning of May. Number five, Sedona, Arizona. Sedona's been around actually for a long time. It had a lot of native tribes come and go from it. It was actually settled in the early 1900s and it has such beautiful views, great canyons, greenery. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Best time to visit it is generally between July to December. Number four. The Grand Canyon. What more could be said? Mother Nature's best work. The biggest canyon in the world. Its scenery, its colors. Definitely a must see. Best time to visit the Grand Canyon is going to be probably between, say, April to November. Number three, Glen Canyon very picturesque views and home to Glen Canyon Dam, which when built, created Lake Powell, a very popular tourist destination. Best time to visit it is April to November. Number two, Monument Valley. Its beauty, its glamour, its scenery has attracted Hollywood movies. Also in this area, is the petrified forest, the painted desert, the four corners. Best time to visit is between April and November. And number one, Karchner Caverns. One of the very few living caves still in existence. Some of the biggest formations in the world, a living cave. Best time to visit it would most likely be October to May so that you could see the big room and all the beauty that the cave has to offer. Now remember, when booking this, book ahead. Make your reservation. We'll have the link listed below. We want to thank everybody for coming along with us on this journey. We really appreciate your taking your time and spending it with us. If you did like what you saw, please hit that like button. We also greatly appreciate if you hit the subscribe and don't forget to click that bell for notification of future videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I'm supposed to override. You were going, 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 going. I think I... <laughs> He's got it on video. There it is.